If, he's, if the puts is much bigger, it might just give it a wee shot. Okay? Doesn't matter. Okay? Okay. Next, uh, uh, exactly, uh, if correct way is not this side, here. This is where I can get <laughs> Lastly, if I want to grab this uh, this hand here directly, I can go here as well. But that doesn't matter. You've got the point. So in any case, if I pull this side, it's dangerous, right? I've got to cross here to this side. Or I've got to cross here to this side. So just start there first. Now, really, let's do this very quick. Just do it four or five times each. But the key point is that you give them a weak jump. It doesn't have to be hard. I mean, just this. A little bit of balance. You can practice it. Just practice it if you can. Here's okay too, but it's not as strong. Yeah. Okay, and higher, koshi no kaiten, even better, okay? Up to you. But cross grab pull. Cross grab pull. Don't forget. Uh, exactly. Not here. Ah, I might just do something here. Not really up to you. My own Exactly. So exactly your own part. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, more important than this is hope. Uh, I'm just going to grab your arm just to make it easy to understand. Just grab your hand, just make the jaw down. Just here. Now, most people, what they do, it's almost everybody, what they do is do a nice movement like this. And the, the logic of it is that, you know, you, you rotate the wrist and it deflects the body. And then what most of us do is we go, okay, that makes more of an impact, doesn't it? When Unfortunately, though, that's not true. This is correct. Yeah. Why? Because I'm using both bones. Here, weak, isn't it? Tell? Yeah. Here's no good. But here, yeah, yep. Yeah. Lastly, when you do it as the correct technique, which it is, here. And then here. And here. Why? Just do slowly like this. Here, that's right. And here. Toes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's up on his toes. That's the point of how Yeah, I always know it. Soto, okay? That's the top. I'll find it in the last Ah, Soto, okay? Turn like this. It's no good. Correct? Okay, yeah. Get down the right. This is what everyone does. This, this. Correct? Sorry. <laughs> and I think last year, we attended the course last year and we picked those off. But you get down the right, it's a size and size to teach. The reason we did it is, you know, I get it. It's very easy. There's no pain. One more time, just slowly. Oh, it's ice, right? Very dangerous for me. Yeah. Here's no problem. Same. Two bones, contact. And then. Flat side, then turn. Two bones. Only a slice is teach this way. Only person. I don't even else. No, no, no. Deflect. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. 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 So from now, oh, I'll use you. Sorry. From now, what we're going to do is the cross, <coughs> wrist, grab, and then. Okay. Or cross, wrist, grab, direct wrist, grab, which is dangerous here. But, go. Oh, okay. But here, Sabaki. 
Look at that. And if you go to the opposite side, I'm okay? You have to do this slowly. So I'm going to go to this side. And cross wrist grab. Yeah. <coughs> Try all three. But just remember the surface of your hip. Okay? But don't forget, pull first. Okay, pull, pull them off guard. <laughs> don't just do this. You've got his hand. Here. Okay. Okay, so we're going to contact and forward the knee. The problem is people say contact is... Okay, let me give you an example. We'll demonstrate again this technique. No contact here, right? Zero contact. And on this side, you've got full contact, where you want to uh, really damage the person as much as you possibly can with your body, okay? And then somewhere is in the middle, okay? And where you should do contact level is two points. Point number one is you should use maximum contact without damaging your training partner. It means you're not going to get hurt. You might get a wee mark, occasional bruise, something like that. So it's not in the middle, it's above that. Okay, the only time it's not above that is if you're with somebody who's not well, or they've got an injury, or they're small, or they're not experienced, then you lower it down. Yeah? So if my students don't give me a good hard hit, and not where they break my ribs or something, I need to never do that. But you've got a little bit up the contact. You okay? And obviously if you're, if you're a bigger lady, a stronger lady, you've got a brown belt, and you've got a yellow belt, and she's really smaller than you, you lower the contact accordingly. And if they're not comfortable, but at least you feel techniques a little bit, receive, well, after receive techniques, you're not gonna begin well. There's too much control. Control is overly, it's overly controlled. Control to protect your training partner, control to feel the technique, control not to get injured, but maximum impact within that realm. You understand? Yes. I get lots of criticism. You watch the videos from the seminar. Like, oh my God, you're beating up your boot camp. No one's hurt, are they? No one, no one's hurt. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why can't you close the right Okay, we'll just demonstrate again for you. Uh, Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe kids, you can see what you do with the tray. Yep, you can come with the front. Small, a uh, couple of mistakes. Uh, two more. Yeah, yeah, I'll come back. Okay, so from here, first three. Here. 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 This is all okay. So these are not some of the best ones. Here. What? Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. Go. One. Yeah. Yeah. The big mistake is this. You guys are leaving one arm open. Yep. Yep. Let's go! Open. He's going to grab my groin. Punch my groin. So, here. Kick. Yeah. Here. This is the other one. Now he's free here. No. Hey! Finish. Okay. This is the Okay, one more time. Yeah, all right. I'll just do it for, I'll do it with the other inputs. I'll do the inputs you want. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is. Here. Here. There's another one. Yeah. What we do for? Same. Okay. Same. Okay. Oh, oh. Hands both arms. One more time. Yes, yes. Don't let them have an opening. Watch the kick. If they go for the kick, stronger on the top. Okay. 